is my review on the NIV Rainbow Bible. It's a hardcover. It's actually sewn. So it's Smith sewn. It's not going to fall apart. You get, you just get a lot of little dust cover, quarter dust cover for it. it. Doesn't come with a box or anything. It tells you all here about the Bible. You also get this color guide as well, and I'll explain how that all works. Now, you get a presentation page, the Holy Bible. The paper is quite thin in this book, and as you can see, she does lie light nice and flat. I have been, I have been using this Bible a little bit, so it has been worked in a little, so that's why she's she's lying nice and flat. Now, if you actually lose this, you actually have it also in the book as well here, at the front of it. So. And what it is, it gives you, the book is all colour coded, as you can see. And each colour represents a different thing. So you have God, the dust, disciples, love, faith, sin, evil, salvation, family, outreach, um, commandments, etc. You know, you've got a whole heap of them. So we'll get into the book and have a good look. You have your in, you have introductions to each page to each book, and they're normally a, a page, and they're quite good actually. I was looking through these, and yeah, I was quite impressed with them. You got the keywords for the Bible, the theme for the book, um, you know, to whom, the content of it, the title. Yeah, and then you got like a little general outline here in it. As you can see, uh, I do like the way they actually have maps in here. They have it through the Bible itself, so that you know when when you're reading the Bible, when you're reading it, you actually know whereabouts it is and what they're talking about because you have a map on the next page. And here, in, this one's in Genesis. It has the key places in, in, in Genesis, so you've got you know, all the key names of the places that they talk about, as you can see, and they're up here in your map as well, I do like that idea, it's actually quite good, and you have all maps all the way through this, on all the books in Deuteronomy, we have. You've got more maps. There's quite a few maps in this. It's quite surprised. And as you can see with the colour kit system, it took me a little while to work the colour out because, like, it was a different, you know, like there. See, see how it's a different shade? But that's the disciple, that one there. And the next one is green, which is love. Some of the browns, the three brown ones, sort of a bit confused me a little bit. Well, actually the four, that one down there. But you get the hang of it. It doesn't take that long to get the hang of it. No, you got that one. And that's actually grey there. So, so yeah, I, I like the idea of this. I mean, you don't have to colour in your own Bible. I mean, even though this paper is quite thin, there is no ghosting on this. The only ghosting you get is in the middle with the references. You do have footnotes at the end of them as well. It's quite a well-made Bible. More maps. It takes a little while to get used to the colour in it, but as soon as you get used to the colour, you just yeah, you just keep on reading, and and sometimes you don't even see the colour when you're reading.
Now at the back of the book, there is no, as of course there is no red lettering. As you can see, when we get into Matthew, I'll see, no, there's no red lettering. But what's marked in under lines is actually Jesus speaking. So you might not have red lettering, but you've got the line underneath, how it's underlined. That is actually where you would normally see red lettering in a Bible. Now, um, more maps. Can't miss the maps. It's quite good. Now, at the end of the Bible, you have all these helps. Quite a few, actually. As you can see, there the helps. Tells you what they are. And we'll have a quick look at some of them. So you got your table of, of weights and measures. Now, this, I thought this was a good idea. You go through the, the whole the whole year, and it gives you one verse each day to memorize. When you memorize it, you write down, you know, the date that you memorized it and tick or whatever. You've got, got a little margin here so that you can do that. I thought that was quite good if you're interested in memorizing, you know, parts of the Bible. This is a good book to start with that as well because it gives you actually here, you don't have to just go find them in the book. I mean, they're actually all set out here for you. Some of these to memorize. All the, it's all dated. You can see May, June, July, August. Well, that was a great idea. Then you got reading plans. You got two reading, two yearly reading plans. Well, one reading plan here. Yearly reading plan, and you can just tick them off when you've read it. So if you want to read your Bible in a year. And we have a, a reasonable size concordance. We do. It's not a bad size concordance. We also had, well then had subjects. Where were we? I want to see if I can find that. Yeah, subject guides. I thought that was quite good as well. So it's quite a good study Bible in this. And then, yes, then you have the concordance. And then we have, we have 13 maps, quite colourful. Oh, look, they actually have Australia in here. Wow. Well, oh. Oh, they've got New Zealand too. I don't know why they put New Zealand in there, but they do. Oh, well. Don't worry, it's an Aussie joke. The New Zealanders would say the same about us. So yeah, maps are quite nice. Like I said, you have 13 of them. And you also have quite a few through the Bible as well. Which is quite nice. And then, at the end, you have some spare paper to write notes as well. It's all lined. To write notes on. You have a few of those pages in the back. So that's a cardstock here too to write on. It's actually quite well made. So, ah, that's a ISNBN number the, if you're interested. Now I'll get it to focus and hold it there for you. Ah, like I said, you get this as well. So that when you're reading along you can use one of these if um, I would actually get this laminated so that it would last longer I would I actually might do that I might laminate this so that it will last longer you know wait for fry and get doggy that's it and that's my review of the rainbow bible I hope you like it 
That is quite a nice Bible, and very well made. Thank you for watching.